Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Today we are going to talk a little bit about thermostats and, and the brands that I choose to use. Um, it was a good question from somebody yesterday on YouTube. Um, if you guys have been to my channel previously, I've been making content for about five years at this point. Hundreds of videos. Just recently, I decided that I'm going to start making more long-form content on YouTube, focus more on that than the short stuff. So I'm basically trying to make videos Monday through Friday. Um, and usually they're being recorded the day that I'm posting them. So if you have comments or questions or things you want me to discuss, leave comments in the videos from the prior days. And there's a good shot that I'll be talking about that stuff in one of the upcoming videos. Um, please remember to like and subscribe as well. It really helps my channel to grow and it helps get this content in front of more people, which uh, makes my time worthwhile. Um, it allows me to put more effort into making these videos. So like and subscribe, very easy thing to do. Please do that. Um, we're gonna talk about my thermostats here in a couple minutes, but I wanted to also see if we were getting any locks and anybody that I put in here yesterday. Let's see. I cannot visually see a lock there between this Ultramel combo. This is like, this could make me like uh, eight jean Ultramel head pies. Um, unfortunately, I can't see anything in there, so that's inconclusive, but they're at least together. This isn't good. This would be a Super OD DG Pied pairing, but they're obviously not uh, hanging out there. Let's see. Still waiting for my first lock from this male here. Still nothing going on with him. Who else do we got? I threw in my Lightning Pied adult male with this ODYB Fire Pied female, and I don't see anything there yet. Uh, Loki, where's Loki at? I know I had Loki, he was over here. He got his first lock ever the other day, but he still is not locking up to the females I need him to, which are these DG Clown females. So that's not good. Uh, this is a first time pairing and there's nothing going on here. This is, uh, he's a pinstripe clown head ultramel. She's an ultramel OD firefly pos het cryptic. So, um, you know, looking for some possible krypton ultramel pinstripe OD fireflies. If anything were to work out for me there, let's see. No locks here, just looking for some OD YB Fire Clown Pieds, but I don't see a lock. Looking for some Ultra Pied stuff here, no lock. This is this guy hasn't had a lock yet, um, but that's okay. All right, so, well, we don't, nothing, nothing, nothing crazy going on yet. Um, let's see, let's count my veils. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have eight going right now. Um, my blade, my male that's been making all my lightning clown pied stuff is off this week. I'm trying to give him a break and trying to get him back on food again. He's probably gonna get a, dis a dose of Da Vinci Boa this week to make sure that he's doing okay. Oh, I forgot to check this female. She's due to lay here pretty soon. As you can see there, she's getting pretty big. And this girl, let's see her as well. She's looking pretty nice too, keeping that nice coil. Um, so yeah, that male's getting some a couple days off, um, just to kind of hopefully recuperate a little bit and hopefully get him back on food to make sure that he's healthy. Um, but I wanted to talk today about my thermostats because somebody asked um, yesterday which ones I use. Let me actually have a backup one here that I'm not using right now. And there's basically two brands. There's Vivarium Electronics, which are the ones that are called, you know, VE200 or VE300. Um, and there's also Herpstat. And there's several different lines of Herpstats. And, well, I don't know. This one, I didn't realize I had all the cords attached to this one still. So let me, I'll just kind of leave it here and I can show you the differences here. Um, this is a VE200. This is the majority of what I own. Um, now these guys, when COVID occurred, you know, into actually in the deep of 2000, 
Um, it was very hard to come by really anything. And these were the only things I could find. Herb stats were almost impossible to come by. So the majority of my racks have some sort of, some sort of vivarium electronics thermostats. Um, they have, you know, differing features. I think the lowest model ones come in at like a hundred bucks and they go up from there. There are certain models called the X2s and I don't know if you'll be able to see this because it's back here. It's dark, dark, dark. This is an X2, which means it has two thermostat probes, which is perfect for like one of these VE racks where you have two separate racks. So I control them differently with temperature. Um, and that's about it. I mean, they're pretty basic. They're very reliable. I think I had a fuse go bad on one of them once and um, they're not very hard to replace. I haven't actually, I have a video for that. I'm not going to go through that now, but basically um, right next to where the plug goes in right here they actually keep extra fuses so you can pop that out and put a new fuse in there if it does blow so that's that that's the vivarium electronics and the other brand is herpstat um and they have a wide variety of different uh devices to choose from from them as well the nice thing about the herpstats is that they have a line of products which are connected devices or meaning that you can access them from the internet. And that's the, this is going to be a weird angle here because I have it connected to the uh, thing here, to the rack. It's called the uh, Herpstat spider webs. This one specifically I use for my baby rack here. Um, and what that does is it connects to the internet. And if you have, you know, um, temperature alerts or power alerts, they come through and they alert me directly on my phone. Um, I think that's the route I'm going to go moving forward just because it's a connected device. I mean, I have connected devices everywhere. Um, you know, I have these, I have like three of these GoV thermostats in here. Plus I have the little temperature probes. I have the sensor pushes. I have two of those in here as well. So I have, I have like backup after backup after backup of temperature <laughs> monitors inside of my incubators to make sure that nothing is ever off in there. But most people do not have that for their actual snake racks. And that's where the, I think the um, Herpstat spiderweb line comes into play because it gives you that, you know, like if you're not home and if you're maybe you're away on vacation for a week and you don't have anybody to watch your collection and you get an alert saying that your uh, rack is at 110 degrees or you get a rack like, temperature reading saying that's at 70 degrees or you get something saying that your power went out it's an easy way to alert you um that there's something going on in the snake room personally other than that i don't really have a preference either way mechanically i mean they both have worked for me i haven't had any issues with power loss or anything failing open meaning failing it's failing turned on meaning it just basically cooks the snakes i haven't had any issues with that at all and i've been using the ve stuff for over six years at this point uh, and it's in most of the racks the only two spider rubs i have are the six like the original six that's on this stack of four um here and i have the the herpstat spider web i think it's a one um over here on this baby rack so those are the only two herpstats i have but again no issues whatsoever with them. So mechanically, again, I don't know if it really matters. I know some people have their preferences with everything. You know, with my racks, I prefer the ARS stuff for multiple reasons, but there's people that love their Freedom Breeder stuff. And you're not going to go wrong with either rack type. Um, and with these thermostats, I don't think you're going to go wrong either way with that either. The one issue I ever had with a VE thermostat I forget what it was exactly. It just basically broke. I was I actually tried to replace the fuse, and I plugged it in on the wall, and the fuse blew again immediately. And I sent it into them, and they repaired it and sent it back. And it was basically that simple. I think I had it back within a week. Now VE uh, Vivarium Electronics. I don't know the exact relationship, but I think they are owned by or the same company as ReptileBasics.com. Now, that's also the company that I purchase my PVC uh, enclosures from. That's also the place that I buy all of my hides from. 
um, and they sell a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, that's where I, when I had my rat racks and I had the bucket, the reservoirs on top of the water and all the tubing and all the, um, uh, the nipples for them to drink from, those all came from Viver or reptilebasics.com. So I think they're one and the same company. Um, as you can see, Vivarian Electronics, Vivarian Electronics. And so I think it, it's all the same thing as reptilebasics.com. That's where you can get most of that stuff. Herpstat is their own thing. I think it's from Spider Robotics. Um, I think you can buy them. I think there are resellers, but you can also buy directly from the website, which is where I bought my stuff. But it's all, all reliable stuff. You can't go wrong either way. But because of the simple fact that the Herpstat stuff now is a connected device, the user interface is kind of wonky. Trying to get it connected to your Wi-Fi is kind of a weird process. Um, they probably need to work on the UI for that, trying, like making it easier or a simpler way to do it, or maybe having an app that integrates to it um, that specifically finds it. Maybe there is now from when I set that up originally, but there wasn't when I did set that up. So it kind of made it more complicated. But once it's on, it's on and it works. So that's the way I'm going to go moving forward. If any of these VEs go bad, I'm probably going to get rid of them. Um, I think I think most of these racks have uh, VE 300 X2s, which means they have two probes. And I did that mainly because these bottom levels, especially here in Pittsburgh, they can be up to 10 degrees colder than the top ones because this floor is just a concrete floor. I'm in the basement of my house. It gets colder down there, especially in the winter. Um, so I usually use a temperature probe that's different for the bottom row or at least the bottom two rows, and then the rest of it gets a different temperature probe. But I think I'm going to try to go with something that has at least two probes for every single rack because there's a lot of temperature variance in these smaller tub racks. Um, so if I could have like three probes, that might even be better. One for the bottom, one for the middle, one for the top. Um, and so as I decide to do that, as I feel the need to do that, I'm probably going to start going with the Herpstat stuff, the spiderweb stuff, so that it's all connected, so that I can all monitor it if I need to, that I get alerts if anything goes offline. Um, and then I could have the VE stuff as just backups for other things. Um, you know, I'm always going to have uh, pets. I'm always going to have extra stacks of um, PVC enclosures. This is a Herpstat 6, and that has six probes on it. As you can see, I only have four um, uh, enclosures here so there's like two extra two extra ones and it's nice because you can just it has the the um the screen on the front here which the uh, vivarium electronics aren't as nice i don't think as the herpstat ones and you can see that i'm only using two of them right now so the other ones are all disabled which is nice to see as well so there's definitely a lot of perks over using the herpstats over the ves but and, and the price, I don't even think is that diff that much different either, you know, when you're going model to model. So, I mean, you can use either one. If you find Herpstat or VEs and they're at a good price or somebody was getting rid of them and they're still in good shape, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't refuse them. But for me personally, I think moving forward, I am going to switch to the Herpstats.